Hello everybody, my name is Shay Too Sweet, you can call me Shay for short, and today we're gonna be doing Maji Vu is the ultimate menace. This is by uh, CJ the Champ. I will be your resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look. We're gonna be doing okay. This is my bot Majin Buu cosplay. I'm sorry, I can't I can't go all pink because he don't wear no shirt and uh this is YouTube and I'm not an OnlyFans girl, so it wouldn't work out. So let's jump into it. And turns her into a lit Hold up, we, we missed it. She walks up to this man and slaps him in the face. So then Don't hit people. Boo looks at her and he says, Do you like eggs? And turns her into a literal egg! Then he said, I like my scramble, bitch. Cause I'm bad for your health. I come real stealth, dropping bombs on your mom. She deserved it. But what about the victim? Oh, yes, the victim. At what point does personal responsibility become a factor in this equation? I don't. Mm. Mm. That nigga is crazy. Truly terrible. My waifu, I love her. Don't worry, the second episode is coming out. I got her cosplay in. Fine creatures. The rarest breed of the anime character in today's society. They're Oh, my nigga Madara, let's go. Ignorance, disrespect. Who the hell is he? And disregard for human life. He did nothing wrong. Life is just unmatched. That is why we made a round table for these rare breeds of menaces. And the person leading that charge is a little peek ass <laughs> this absolute menace absolute demon the ultimate black air force majin boo this thing is the ultimate personification of a hood like th this ain't even like a black air force this is a black tim a fila a shack a, a shack oh my god i remember when shack brought out his own shoes and stuff like that and everybody was clowning on him but Hey, when you can't afford Jordans, you gotta afford Shaq, so I don't know what to tell you. Damn FUBU! This little nigga is just absolutely terrifying! There's a reason he's at the front! So, uh, y'all already know your boy got the evidence on deck. deck. And it is finally time to observe the ultimate menace. So, without further ado... <clears throat> Exhibit A. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. So as we know, mm -hmm. Majin Buu has multiple various forms. Yes. And with each form, he gets even worse, worse to just outright what the f So obviously we have to start from the beginning. So I present to you exhibit A, Fat Buu. So as we know, Goku and Vegeta are fighting right now and that's giving all the energy for Buu to wake up. So when mm -hmm. Buu hatches out his shell and everybody sees him, everybody's looking like, you telling me this fat ass Captain D's Patrick Star Kirby looking mother is a terror of the universe? <laughs> you gotta be kidding, right? Like, look at him, he's waddling. So, DeBoer is looking at Bobby like, really, my boy? You was really hyping all this up? <laughs> what a pity. So then Boo looks over at him and he's like, boy, I know you ain't talking shit with that receding ass hairline. Like, goddamn, your shit look worse than Vegeta's. Okay, first and foremost, Vegeta does not have a receding hairline, okay? He just has the ultimate the ultimate widow's peak okay I'm why the fuck you lying why, why you always lying i'm going don't come for my baby unless i sent for you okay i said what i said so then boo starts steaming and then he smiles at him and he swings and gouges out his eyes look at him he like nah 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 boo boo shut your stupid ass up this man he damn this Laid out the Demon King with a kick. Look at Gohan, he like, ain't no way, boy. I just had a whole three episode fight with this man and he just kicked him like a ragdoll. This shit, I'm out. Ah, hell no. Time to go. Hey, you know what? I respect, I respect that. I respect that. Sometimes people overstay their welcome. Why are you still here? And you just gotta, you just gotta, you gotta just leave. Don't mind me, I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. So why they flying booting already caught up? He's like, oh, where y'all think y'all going? The fun just getting started. Look at Supreme Kai, he like, oh my God. 
I'm about to die. Man straight up clapped his face. He just started beating the brakes off his ass. Then this man comes from the top rope like the big show and sits on his ass. His ribs, his organs, his spine. Oh, that man is done. He did. He did. Gohan comes in and tries to stop him, but wrong, wrong. Who said, "Get your bum ass out my sight"? Home run. God, sit my boy flying. So then Deborah comes back and tries to lay the hands on him again, but wrong answer. He literally turns this man into a cookie, and he straight up devours this in one bite. Oh, nah, bro. This man literally just turned the Demon King into a damn gingerbread man and devoured him in one bite. Nah, I bet it tastes dry. He needs some milk. He needs some milk. Milk. I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm, milk is always good for you. I mean, I, sorry, I don't know what to say. So then Vegeta pulls up, but... Damn. Come on, I no love wonder. you, baby. It's Vegeta. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Vegeta's my favorite character. And I already knew he was gonna get his ass beat. So Exactly. I love you, baby. At least you try. Okay? And that's the only thing I always ask from you. At least you try. He wraps him up and traps him. And look at him skipping. He's like, hippity doo da. I'm about to whoop that ass. Yippee! Here we go. Boom! Straight up booted man. Then he comes from the top rope again and. God yeah, damn! This blood just started pounding him. Me, 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 And that done, bro. GG. So Vegeta's like, well, then, I can't beat him. Might as well just blow myself up then. Drunks, love you, kid, but to be honest with you, you were an accident. And that man, Vegeta, just straight up himself up and he took boo with him <laughs> or so we thought are you dumb stupid or dumb huh this man really rebuilt himself and he is still kicking bro so after this boo i mean i mean at least at least he tried there you go i mean at least he tried i i know i know everybody everybody gives me shit because i like vegeta but i mean at least he tried to kill him okay you just go and at least, at least he's not like, at least he's not like, put it like this, at least he tried, okay? That's the only thing I'm gonna say. At least he tried. It was on a complete rampage. They went to this one city, so he's like, all right, everybody bring that up. So then he's like, all right, what I wanna eat? Cake or candy? Mm, candy. So he turns everybody in that city into candy. The man started inhaling them like Kirby. And this man just really gobbled up this entire town in the amount of seconds. Then he decided to spit it out. And bro just laid out the entire city. Then he went to the next one, lifted them up, and turned every single one of them into a chocolate bar. So after this. Well, I mean, like, I mean, like, at least Cell had the, at least Cell drunk them. He. What? He he just turned them into candy. Okay, so I mean like Cell kind of did it first, but I mean his is more efficient. Okay, As Goku finally pulled up and pulled out SS3 after you know like screaming his ass off for like the entirety of the damn episode. Man, nigga, just go ahead and take a shit. Like goddamn, you don't you don't gotta let everybody know. Ah, 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 nigga, I'm getting extensions. Ah, fuck off. Ah, shut up. What law is there say I got to like you? I don't care. Oh, well, Vegeta blew himself up. I don't give a shit. I still hate Goku. It was looking like he was taking the fattest doodle of his life. Thank you. Oh my God. I promise you, I never watched this yet. Bro. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though. Goku was beating the brakes off his though. Man grabbed him by his antenna and started playing paddle ball with him. Look at him. Boing, 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 boing. Bro looks like he is doing this with no effort. Then he throws him into an entire building. Bro, Goku, bro. I thought you was all about saving the people of Earth, but apparently not. Bro, chucked him into a bunch of innocent people. Dude, what are you? Are you? No, I would never compare. I would never compare you to Omni Man. He is way too cool for you. But you, you doing some Omni Man activities, just like throwing people in the buildings. I thought you're supposed to be the savior of this world and shit. 
I mean, go. I mean, Vegeta never said he was gonna save hoes, so he could throw niggas into buildings and stuff. But you're supposed to be the captain, save a hoe. So I don't, I don't. I think that goes against your moral compass. I'm not too sure, my nigga. And chucked him into a whole building with probably people still in it. And look at him, he like, man, f them. Niggas. We'll wish him back with the Dragon Balls. Um, disgusted. So then Goku powers down and he's oh. like, all right, listen, my boy, I'm about to run out of time. So I got a proposition for you. Wait two days and there's going to be a warrior that's going to want to box you. And also stop listening to that bum ass chameleon. Like for real, my boy, you show off him. So after Goku dips, what? he's like, man, you know what? He was right. Tell him, boy, bye. He grabs him and punches his head off. Then bro chucked him and blew him to smithereens. He dead. Look at him, he's like, ah, yes, <laughs> boo free man. Hip hip hooray, no more bum ass chameleon. So later on, he's flying around and then he's like, Ugh. boo getting tired, man. Bruh, so he stops like in the middle of the road in front of this truck. So the dude in the truck, like, hey, get your fat ass off the road, huh? So boo turns around and he says, Mister, I have a question. Am I handsome? Then the dude in the truck, like, hell no, nah, nigga, you get no bitches. Now get the fuck out the road. Then he looks at him, he's like, sit your stupid ass up. <laughs> Truck Coon did not win that one. Coon ain't got shit on me. Oh, he says, you know what? Damn it. This is a good spot for a house. So he lifts everybody up, turns them into Play Doh, and builds a literal house out of them. Man, it's dead ass on creative mode at this point. So after this, Boo continues his. Bro, I thought I was bad in Fallout 4, bro. This nigga, I, I, okay, I remember myself in Fallout 4. I would just. I would just bring like get random shit and then it would be like I'd be like uh, I would be always overburdened to bring it back to build my civilization about a whole bunch of people who always fucking complained about some dumb shit that they don't they didn't have to worry about before and then if I and then I just act I leave them out and I go kill them so if you, they keep complaining and shit oh you're not supposed to do that to your village I don't care I got charisma I get another bitch I don't give a damn Rampage. So he sees these boats and he's like, hmm, boo play with boats. So this man starts skating on the water and bro blasted through the ship. So homie right here is drowning. So then he grabs on the boo. And boo's looking at him like, nigga, get your bitch ass off me. Dog sent him to the moon. So then Gotenks pulls up and you already know this man talking shit. Man, it's like, you fat Captain D's Big Mac number one combo bitch ass n Oh, don't think I'm done, old Pillsbury dope boy looking ass Oh, 2012, these n can't hold me back. Rick Ross looking ass But, but y'all already know, Boo was not having that disrespect. You gonna learn today. So we just started beating the brakes off his little ass. Man, it's like, stop playing with me. Then he picks my piece like, oh yeah. Come on, you were talking all that good shit a second ago. And now look at you, beat the f up. Not Man, send that boy to the he shadow did. room. So then after this, Mr. Satan pulls up. Go, go home, go home. I, you barely, you barely survived cell. Like, he didn't really even fight, so you barely survived, so what? Why are you here? And they actually become friends. So they outside playing with this dog, and this hunter ends up shooting the dog. Oh, he God. needs some milk. I forgot all about that. So Boo's like, oh my God. What, Why what, would you what do? What is this debauchery? Am I feeling some type of sympathy right now? Absurd. So after this, Boo starts steaming again, and then he shoots out this cloud, and in that cloud is another Boo, but he's skinny and he's gray. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Then <laughs> he walks up to him and he's like, hey nigga, did I just catch you feeling some type of sympathy? We don't do that bitch. So he starts punishing this man, beating the absolute brakes off of him. So Boo shoots his beam at him, but bro blows it away and it hits him and he turns into chocolate. And bro just ate him. And then he starts to transform. So yeah, that was exhibit A and it's time to move on to. I mean, I mean, I forgot about, I forgot about, I, I, I remember him getting beat up, but I forgot about why. So, I mean, 
I mean, I like Boo. I think Boo's a really cool kid. Well, a really cool guy. And plus, the fat girl in me likes Boo too because I, I'm sorry, I used to be a lot. I used to be really big. Well, I was uh, 205 was the biggest I ever was. So I used to be really big. So Boo used to, Boo and Kirby was my niggas because of the fact of the matter is they can eat whatever they want and they can stay the same size. I know, I know, I know. They were always round, but I, hey, girls had to have their idols, all right? But I, I like Boo. I like Boo. Um, I like Boo. He's I was going to like him, so... Boo is always gonna be my nigga. My nigga. <laughs> I now present to you Exhibit B, Super Boo. So as we can see, Boo has turned into Super Boo. And this is where it just started to get outlandish. So the first thing that this man does is jump in homie's mouth. Oh! No life for real life. This is like actually <sighs> disgusting. I'm not showing this. But anyway, so he ends up blasting off to the lookout. So when he gets to the lookout, he's like, all right, listen up. I was promised a fight two days ago that there's going to be some strong ass. So produce that ass. Come on now, chop, chop. Don't be shy. So Piccolo ends up making a grave mistake. Why the hell did you volunteer? That's what I always want to know. Because like my whole thing is, why did you volunteer? The only reason why I say that, why did you volunteer, was because of the fact that the matter is, I, they don't make nobody strong on Dragon Ball Z besides besides Goku. So why did besides Kakarot? So why I don't understand why any other people even try to. Basically, everybody else in Dragon Ball is just to uh, prolong for Goku to show the fuck back up. That's basically why I kind of stopped watching Dragon Ball. That's why I kind of stopped watching. Dragon Ball, I didn't give Dragon Ball Super a chance. I didn't give Dragon Ball GT a chance because literally it's only, only Dragon Ball just dissolved into a hey, yo, y'all just gonna be filler niggas until Goku come and pick, until Goku comes and um do, does what he needs to do. That's basically what it ended up turning to. Either Goku or descendants of Goku come and um and clean it up. And I'm sorry, that shit gets very old very quickly for me. So that's why I stopped watching Dragon Balls. <laughs> so Goten and Trunks aren't ready to fight. So he ends up saying, there's plenty of other people on Earth that you can kill for your amusement while you wait. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. So Boo's like, I bet. So he starts walking around the lookout and he's surveying how many humans are left alive right now. So after he's done, he lifts up his hand and uses human extinction attack. Um, uh, I'm sorry, um, what? And he straight up deletes the entire human population. So after he's done, he's like, all right, I'm done. Now bring that ass. So Piccolo's like, all right, listen, listen, my boy. Just give us one hour. That's all we need. And bro's like, an hour? Hell no. So then Fidel starts talking. She's like, it's just an hour. I hope you're not scared or you're a chicken. Was anybody talking to you? Then Boo looks at her. He's like, shut your stupid ass up with that cell saga Gohan cut you got going on right now. Matter of fact, I should just kill you. So then Piccolo's like, yo, just chill out, bro. And just wait the hour. <laughs> so about five minutes later, while Boo's waiting, Chi Chi does one of the dumbest things I have ever seen. She walks up to this man and slaps him in the face. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb, huh? So then Boo looks at her and he says, do you like eggs? and turns her into a literal egg. Cha 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 check your privilege. Then he said, I like my scramble, bitch. And she fucking deserved it. That nigga wasn't, okay, yeah, he just extinguished the human race. But that nigga, y'all told him, y'all told him to wait. He was waiting patiently, just staring. And then you bring your little bitch ass over there and you don't think you're gonna get clapped. I'm not, I'm not here caping for him, but I am going to say you did deserve that ass whooping. That's all. That's, that's, that's it. <clears throat>
god he literally turned her into an egg and stomped her like a roach she in front of her son oh my god so tell she tell your mama to stay in her fucking place <laughs> about half the time okay i know oh, look 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 i'm being dead serious i'm being dead serious this is above your pay grade mom i'm gonna need you to sit this one out you you just seen him extinguish the whole race, but you think you gonna go over there and slap him? It, it's supposed to do something. S sit, sit down somewhere. Passes now, and Boo's like, you know what? I'm done with this <laughs> wait. Bring that ass now. Piccolo was like, bro, it's only been 30 minutes. But like, ah, 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 ah. I'm done with this. If I don't get this fade right now, I'm deleting all y'all. So Piccolo takes him to the hyperbolic time chamber so he can fight Gotenk. So he's back there, and he's like, really? These little goofy ass niggas. I bet then. So they start to do the fusion dance, but Boo blitzes Trunks and sucks. <laughs> so Trunks is like, yo, bro, chill. How you gonna attack a that's transformer, bro? That's anime rule number one. You just committed taboo. So when they finally fuse, Boo's like, oh, it's you. I already ran your fade once, but <laughs> I guess I'll do it again. So yeah, bro, Boo was just bullying him again. Bro straight up juggled the man and sent him all the way back to the door. Like, look at man's bro, he's just chilling, living his best life. So after this, Piccolo ends up destroying the hyperbolic time chamber. So he's like, haha, now nobody can get out of here. So Boo's like, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. If I'm stuck in here, I ain't getting no more candy. Oh, now this just won't do. So this man literally screamed a hole and teared open the dimension. So bro just straight up slithered away. So he comes back outside and starts looking at everybody. And then he says, Chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate. This man just turned the entire cast into chocolate. Bro, straight up devoured their souls. So later on, when he's fighting Gotenks again, they end up unfusing. So, bro, just fell asleep. Bro, say it ain't even worth it at this point. So then ultimate gohan pulls up and, and this man wanted all the smoke but straight up stared homie down and said i'm gonna kill you and he started laying the hands on him bro was looking like he was fighting cell again but of course it didn't last long man straight up absorbed go tanks and piccolo and gohan literally sat there and watched him do it so then after this it was raps bro he was beating the brakes off of so then tn shows up <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take this seriously. <laughs> TN? Yeah, bro, get your ass out of here. And then bro just ended up absorbing Gohan too. So then he ends up smacking around Goku and Vegeta like they some damn ragdolls. So then they have to resort to using Vegito. Man, oh man. This was a undeniable ass whooping. Vegeta was smacking him like, oh, like it wasn't even funny. So after Goku and Vegeta beat the brakes off of Boo and rescue everybody that he's absorbed, <laughs> he starts to transform again. And dear God, it's time for Exhibit C. So, 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 like what I would say, what I would say with this one is like, um, what I would say with this one is like after Goku and Vegeta beat. The okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Kakarot does have a purpose. Only time that he's good is when he's with my baby. But any other time, he does not have a purpose. The breaks off of Boo and rescue everybody that he's absorbed. He starts to transform again. And 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 my whole thing is my whole thing is I don't know why these niggas never like if nobody ever. That's why I never understood why nobody got laid out like in Sailor Moon. Why nobody got laid. Only time I why don't people get laid out while they're transforming? Nobody ever wanted like just jump the gun and just say, nah, you not gonna do that. They were they were like, nah, nah, let them do it, let them do it. And that's that's why I always used to say, like, hey yo, make it a reason why they can't lay them out while they're transforming. You know, like um the Colossal Titan. You can't get too close to the Colossal Titan because of the steam. It'll literally cook you alive. You know what I'm saying? So make it like, oh, he's too hot or something. Something that will that something that will be like, hey, yo, if you get close to him right now, he will 
it, like it will be detrimental to your soul. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I know he just turned y'all into chocolate and ate y'all. I mean, that's a good, but I'm just saying like, if you keep this nigga from transforming, you wouldn't have, you know, you wouldn't have a lot of problems. And dear God, it's time for exhibit C. It's C. So without further ado, exhibit C. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached the climax. And Lord have mercy, may God help us all. Exhibit yeah. C consists of Kid Boo. So as we can see, Boo is transforming right now yes. from this really big buff form. And Supreme Kai is losing his mind right now. He's like, oh my oh, God. Oh my God, it's him. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate black air force. No, 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 let me not even say that. The ultimate menace, Kid Boo. Boom. So Vegeta's like. Which is amazing because, which is amazing. And that's why I always say, don't count midgets out. And, <laughs> or short people in general, because I'm short and I'm, you know, I'm a baby thug. Um, you know, I got my cough plays on deck, but no, don't ever count short people out. And I, it's still, look, 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 before anybody say anything, I know my baby, he's, he, he's slow right now, okay? Because he's like, he's, because if you think about it, my, you know, Dragon Ball has this thing, like they go from being like super big to super small. Like they did that with, uh, well, Cell went through like a metamorphosis of like just different, but they did that with, uh, Frieza. They did that with Frieza. Frieza did the same thing. He went big. He was like, he went like super big. He went big. And then he went little, big, big, then he went back little. So, I mean, it's just uh, the smaller packages. I think I think that's what they're trying to say. Don't underestimate small packages. <laughs> oh, God. In this regard. <laughs> Look, Kakarot, the little got smaller. And they hella confident right now. So while this is happening, Supreme Kai is having PTSD right now. <laughs> Bro's like, yo, this is the dude that killed all of the Kais. West Kai, gone. North Kai, gone. South Kai, gobbled up. Grand Supreme Kai, dead. You wanna know why I became Supreme Kai? Cause everybody else is dead. So stop acting like this sweet. So Boo starts admiring the scenery. So Bruh's like, hmm, time to assert my dominance. Then right after he's done, he shoots a key blast immediately. So Vegeta stops it from hitting, and Goku's like, yo, this nigga was about to blow up the planet. So then Vegeta's like, hey, yo, try that shit again, nigga. I wish you would. So Boo turns around and looks at him. He's like, all right, then. So he starts charging up a ginormous one. So Goku's like, yo, chill. But Boo just... Everybody got to test the gangster once in a while, right? Like, 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 you ain't gangster. Nobody ever tested it. There you go. But I mean, I wouldn't test him. Not me. I, I would test. I would be like that on the phone. I'll test it when I know I'm at a safe distance. That's how I like, that's how I test my older sister. I test her at like a safe distance. I'd be like, say that shit to my face. And she's like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm driving to Georgia, right? I'm like, or, or you can say it on the phone. I don't care. <laughs> I ain't answering the phone, shit. Miles. Bro said, bye bye. This man really just showed up, blew up the planet for no reason at all, and didn't even say a word. You know, villains always be saying, hmm, I'm gonna destroy Earth. Frieza, fair. Well, I mean, he did do it in Resurrection F, though, but he did it like a. Cell, I'm gonna blow up the earth and there's nothing you can do. Fail. Mm -hmm. Boo! Bro didn't even say a word. He just did it. Real G's moving silence like He's moving silence like lasagna. Lasagna. Okay? And like that is one of the most realest things. Don't say what you gon' do. Show what show show it. It's is it's one of my favorite books. It's called The 48 Laws of Power. It says uh, it says basically don't say don't say don't say what you're gonna do just show by your actions because everybody can supply lip service i've seen so many people have supply lip service to so many things but if you actually show actions about what you are actually do 
People will take you seriously. That nigga show action. He blew up the fucking planet. <laughs> I mean, we should have known he was about that life when the first episode he shows up in is called The End of Earth. So after this, this man rebuilds himself almost immediately, learns instant transmission, then starts going from planet to planet, blowing up every single one searching for Goku and Vegeta. Man said, that fate is not running away from me. <laughs> so then Boo does one of the craziest things I have ever seen. And this is where he submitted himself in my books as the ultimate menace. He went to heaven to beat the brakes <laughs> off a of dead Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I beg your pardon. <laughs> he went to go get more smoke from the dead ops. Look at Krillin and Yamcha. They like, oh my God, bro. Ain't no way this is happening right now. Boo said, F that rest in peace. I'm whooping that ass again. So this man starts beating the brakes off of everybody. Oh my God, bro. He hit Krillin with a three piece combo. Then started suplexing him with his antenna. So now this man is ready to wipe everybody from existence. But then he senses Goku and Vegeta again. And he's like, oh, time to go. I'm like, bro, imagine you are in heaven resting for eternal peace. And you see your op come trying to get some more smoke. Like, bruh. That, that's just outlandish. So he pulls up to the Kai world and he's like, ah, yes, <laughs> my fade. So he starts fighting Goku. And while he's fighting this man, this man starts emoting, laughing and dancing while he's pummeling this man. Look, bro, can't even form words, but he's still talking <laughs> You bitch, nigga. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, what we really have to get to, though, is the absolute violation, absolute ass whooping he gave to Vegeta. Like, good God, he was pummeling this man. Bro saying, hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to make your headline more fed up than it already is. So Vegeta just en ends up getting laid out. But then he ends up getting back up some- We fall down, but we get up. But Boo's like, hmm, so you wanna be a black Air Force, huh? I right, then consider this initiation so bra ends up indenting his foot in his spine and then he said go moon no moon no. and started choking the life out of man's come on come on i like it like it come on Bro, oh my god and that was all she wrote for vegeta he he was done so then mr satan wanted some smoke but Come on, bro. Bye. My feet. So then Fat Boo pulls up. So Kid Boo like, hmm, booga booga booga. If it isn't the big ass bubble gum shrimp looking motherfucker. So we just started welling on Fat Boo, bro. Is welling on himself. He is fading the good version of himself. Look at him, bro. Decided to take a whole time out on him. Then he grabs him and starts gut checking him. Bro, say, I'm about to make you lose your breakfast, lunch, and your dinner. And Fat Boo was done too. So the way they had to beat this man is just absolutely mind boggling. They had to get everybody, the whole damn earth to give this man Goku some energy so he could extinguish this damn menace. The thing is he started to push it back, but the plot kicked in in the ultimate menace. The plot kicked in. Still think that's- And ladies and gentlemen, that is why little homie sits in the front. Still think that's a dumbass ending. That's why I stopped watching this shit. <laughs> like some of the stuff he was doing was just unexplainable. He faded the entire cast, blew up the earth on the first episode he showed up in, faded his ops in heaven, as well as deleting the entire human population. <laughs> Dog. So yeah, that's basically it. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to follow your boy on IG. And so that was Boo, uh, Majin Boo is the ultimate menace. Uh, I'll be honest and serious. I kind of stopped watching it after, after so I'm going to be honest and serious. I watched a little bit of the Boo Saga, but I kind of, I, I kind of stopped watching it. Only reason why I stopped watching, only reason why I kind of stopped watching was because of the fact that the matter is y'all see what they do to my favorite character. So, you know, like I, I just stopped watching, but do I, do I, do I say that Majin Boo got hold? Yeah. This is what happens when you constantly, when you constantly make an overpowered character. Some bullshit has to come from the, from the eons and help a nigga out. 
So what I always will say is maybe, maybe you shouldn't start off with the nigga being the mo ultimate and everything else because you don't have no place to go. And then before anybody says it, because people always say it in my comment section, we'll say Dragon Ball G um, Z was supposed to end numerous of times. That's why they kept doing this because it was supposed to end numerous of times before the before the Boo Saga, before the Cell Saga. They had they were having complications while they were going through the uh, uh, Frieza Saga and everything else. I understand that, I understand that. But I mean, just plot it out a little bit better. <laughs> that's the only thing. That's all I'm saying. But does Boo get my respect? Yes, because the fact of the matter is, Boo gives me hope. That just because you're small, don't mean you can't kick a nigga's ass. <laughs> Make sure y'all support the original creator because of the fact of the matter is without him, without him doing what he does, I can't do what I do. Which is basically, uh, which is basically cosplay is boo. And then before anybody be like, well, that's not really a cop. Look, nigga, this is as much as a cosplay is going to get tonight, okay? Bitch, I do what I want! <laughs> oh my auntie going off somebody but like i say my name is shay too so you can call me shay for short and like my grandmother always says so long <laughs>